Hello friends. Last week we discussed about HTML5 API local storage. Today we are going to explore one more API called geolocation which is useful to find or locate the certain position on the Google map. So let's start. I am using WebStorm for this project for this example. Let's create one geolocation and inside geolocation uh, let's create directory called CSS and one more directory scripts and inside this script let's create one JavaScript file called main.js and so CSS let's create one style sheet called no, style and we need one HTML file called index I hit title geo and let's import style dot CSS so C main dot JS save before this uh, let's install jQuery npm install jQuery it may take for a while okay it is done and script src uh, jquery and uh, we install jquery we imported here in our project uh, we must use this url this is google map api and our custom js ok so our directory structure is done first of all let's create two divs with id uh, latitude and id long longitude we will display the values here and let's create one div with id maps and inside main js function here uh, let's write navigator dot geolocation dot get current position will accept two p mm, arguments one is success callback and second one is error callback we define so just in case if everything goes right browser can detect your current position it will use function success and uh, position it it takes one parameter name position and just in case if error happens so this function will handle it dollar body dot html error okay so error is we are done with error so first of all we can check if navigator dot geolocation is not undefined then do this else but nowadays most of the browser suppose this uh, um, geolocation API modern browsers we are not talking about old browsers like i6 or 7 or 8 here we can write getting getting longitude uh, latitude so for this where let is equal to uh, for this position 
position dot chords this object as uh, let it do it okay long uh, is equal to position dot chord oh, oh chords dot longitude we fetch the latitude and longitude coordinates if you can check you can check like this let dot html and here we can see let long nothing will work uh, we must run it okay so we are getting the longitude and latitude now after getting this let's try to find the center coordinates and we can do it like this where let long is equal to new google dot map dot now let long and here we can give let comma long it, it except two parameters this let is this and this long is this so these two coordinates we will pass in this method and now we will create the map let's create the map map is equal to uh, new uh, let's create one object from google dot map so maps oh, oh I think you'll use maps maps dot map always remember that this M will be in capital case and this will accept document dot uh, what ID we have used here okay the ID is maps okay mm. uh -uh. maps and the second is map options uh, we did not create map options let's create it first it is an object which will accept the zoom uh, let's uh, set it to 14 uh, 0 to 18 this is the maximum and minimum zoom value we can pass it and in center it's let long and map type id map type id is google dot maps dot id dot road map okay so we are done with this option and now let's check it once uh, the uh, everything is working or not okay now I think I did not give the height and width uh, height uh, 400 pixel and width Uh, 400 pixel uh, border 1 pixel solid okay okay here we are getting a current location I'm living in Pune so this is my home location and we can use one more thing called marker marker 
this is also google dot maps dot marker it will accept one object and this object will have a position positionally let long a map is again map uh, this uh, map has one value map we will pass this map here okay and here we'll pass title we are here I'll just pass it okay uh, mouse over we are here you can see in tooltip the balloon is also there and uh, there's few more options you can find many more in the documentation and the title and like uh, draggable is true if draggable is true I think we can drag oh oh I think draggable draggable I think this is right uh, yes we can drag it now and uh, one more thing we can use I think uh, animation google dot maps dot animation dot view mm, bounce let's just check it once okay there's a bounce I'll probably drop I'll work okay so it is working so that is all from my side for geolocation please go through the documentation the Google API they have given several examples uh, you can do many more things with marker like we can customize marker put more information inside the marker so you just once go through the documentation everything is easy uh, not so complicated but yes it has very um, broad aspects with maps okay thank you please rate and subscribe and uh, put some constructive comments thank you I'll host the example in JSBin you can find it in uh, YouTube description thank you